Masliza. Uh, Masliza is the executive officer of CIG, and she has been uh, the executive officer since 2010. She has spent the first 10 years of her working life uh, as a journalist in English daily in Malaysia, as a features reporter covering elections and among other events. She's also actively involved in uh, women's rights organizations and human rights organizations in, in Malaysia. We have, next we have Dr. Tessa Alton. Uh, Dr. Tessa is assistant professor in media and communication in the School of Modern Languages and Cultures at the University of Nottingham, Malaysia campus. <coughs> Excuse me. She was awarded a PhD in media and communications from the School of Social and Political Science at the University of Canterbury in Christchurch, New Zealand. She uh, is co-heading this media monitoring project uh, with us. Uh, to her right, we have Professor Zahra Nai, who is the Centre Director, the Centre for Study of Communications and Culture at the School of Modern Languages and Culture, the University of uh, Nottingham Malaysia campus. Professor Zaharun teaches in both the uh, BA in International Communication and the MBA, MBA in Cultural Studies programs. He joined uh, UNMC in 2010 after having taught communication studies for more than two decades in Malaysia. He is part of our team of analysts for this media monitoring project. So I'll hand it over to Mashalisa. Thank you very much, Abby. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Mas from CIJ. Um, and my role here is to basically talk about um, our project, um, to give some introduction, give some details um, with regard to uh, uh, our, uh, the media monitoring, um, which media we're monitoring, why, etc. Um, and uh, this is actually part of a larger project. Um, CIJ is only focusing on the media monitoring aspect. Um, the larger project is called Creating a Robust and Transparent Electoral System in Malaysia. And we are one of the partners. Our co-partners are Merdeka Centre, and the Bank for Merdeka Centre is here. Um, our other partner is um, the National Institute of, electoral, of Democracy and Electoral Integrity, NIEI. And um, uh, they are doing uh, various activities uh, trainings, workshops, um, as well as um, interacting with the Election Commission. Um, CIG, of course, is focusing on the media monitoring as well as the election website to provide more details on, on elections, on information for voters, etc. Um, and uh, what we've done this time is that we've managed to do a partnership with the University of Nottingham Malaysia campus. Um, we've got our representatives from UNMC here. The two to my right, um, Tessa and Zaharu, as well as um, Dr. Sean Matthews, um, and um, you know, uh, um, and uh, this monitoring project involves uh, academics, um, as mentioned earlier. It also involves researchers, including independent researchers, um, CIG staff and directors, um, and uh, for our. Um, of monitors, uh, we are looking at um, not just students from uh, private and public college universities in the country. Media for elections uh, play their role. Um, I think what is quite heartening is that the National Union of Journalists have actually come up with a resolution uh, for their journalists to say that we want to cover the elections in a way that is fair. Um, so that's one of the resolutions they have. So in many ways, um, you know, that's something that the journalists, um, members of the union have actually said that they would do. So they're building on that um, uh, in terms of the role of uh, journalists and, and, and media. Um, we want to also see what kind of, there's a lot of perception about media. Um, so part of this study, uh, this project as well, is to see um, how valid are those perceptions as well in terms of uh, media objectivity, how did media play its role? Were they fair? Did they give the right of reply to all the different parties, political figures, etc.? We also, in the longer term, want to advocate for better laws for media in Malaysia um, with the twofold uh, objective, which is to uh, protect media freedom uh, and, of course, uh, you know, uh, 
defend the citizens' right to information, uh, which is linked to uh, the role that media plays, in, uh, not just in Malaysia, but in other parts of the world as well. Um, in terms of what we will be monitoring for, I'm just going to very briefly say we will look at uh, whether media is bad, we will look at uh, the slant, uh, is it positive, negative, neutral, in, in the typical manner that uh, election mon uh, media monitoring is done. We want to look at access for candidates um, and political figures. Um, some people are not candidates, but they feature quite a bit, um, and they have an influence in terms of uh, the outcome of, of, of the elections in some places. We want to look at access to political parties, including independents. Um, we also want to look at issues during the elections, um, specifically development issues, uh, human rights issues, etc. Um, there are some issues that we are monitoring specifically for, which is gender. We want to see how uh, women candidates are featured, how women's issues are given uh, uh, the importance, etc. in the next uh, general elections. We're also looking at the issue of religion, which coupled with ethnicity is becoming an emerging uh, uh, you know, um, framework with which uh, politics is defined, with which um, elections are played out. Um, strategies are made, etc. Um, in terms of the media to be monitored, um, we've got television, so we've got the basic Malay, English, Mandarin, etc. Um, we are looking at print uh, in other languages, uh, so it cuts across not just medium but also language. So for print, it's more extensive Malay, English, Mandarin, Tamil, and if you look there, we've got uh, in Sarawak as well as in Sabah. Um, we've got online, um, Malaysia Kini Insider, and something that's new that we're doing is also monitoring Bernama, how Bernama covers elections. Um, so we're looking at both Bernama in Bahasa as well as Bernama in English, given that um, taxpayers' money go to fund Bernama and other, you know, earlier for television as well, RTM, all these state-run um, uh, media as well. Um, in terms of output, we would be releasing uh, periodically um, the results, focusing on specific questions perhaps, and also specific media, maybe some comparison. Um, we are also um, looking at the preliminary report uh, a couple of weeks after the election. Um, we will have a final report in the form of a publication. And of course, um, if earlier I mentioned that the large objective is to look at how to change laws to advocate for media freedom, to advocate for right to information. Then we are also looking at hosting forums, roundtable discussions with different stakeholders um, to see how uh, this issue can be brought more to use the results of the monitoring, media monitoring uh, towards uh, bigger goals, etc. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, longer term aims, of course. Um, Advocate adoption of appropriate legislation, as mentioned. Uh, monitor report of fairness. Uh, right to accurate information. Thank you very much. <laughs>